It's your boy King Buzz back with those exclusives. Welcome to the channel where we make no excuses. Shout out all artists, engineers, and producers. And I'm back with another video. Y'all know what's going on. Now, Mixcraft. Shout out to all my Mixcraft users, man. Big shout out to y'all. I want y'all to know y'all on the right track. Ain't nothing wrong with using Mixcraft. And here is why. All right, y'all know DDG. Y'all know Moonwalking in Calabasas, right? Ooh, I feel like Michael Jackson. Mm -mm, that song, right? You know the song. The remix with Blueface went crazy, right? You know the song, right? I know you know the song, right? Now, look at this here. Look at here. I had a video a year ago talking about Eddie Rosa, right? He mixed and mastered arguments for DDG, right? Inside of Mixcraft. And now he mixed... And mastered Moonwalking in Calabasas remix featuring Blueface. And guess what he used? Mixcraft. Crazy, right? Yet there's still people talking about uh Mixcraft isn't capable. Or uh you need to use Pro Tools. You need to use this, you need to use that. No, you don't. You need to use what you have. You need to use what you have. Now Yes, DDG, DDG does record and you know, the uh, state of the art studios, you know what I mean? With, you know, he does record in the sound treated uh, booth, you know what I mean? He does record in sound treated environments, but he also has a studio in his basement and he has like a little portable booth set up and he does record there sometimes. I don't know if he record I don't know if he recorded Arguments or uh, The Moon Walking in Calabasas. I don't know if he recorded that at his house. But either way, like I always tell y'all, make sure you capture on high quality vocals because once you do that, you make the job easier for the person who mixing and mastering. It don't matter what they using as long as they know what they doing. And that's it's just as simple as that, all right? So DDG recorded the song, right? They recorded it. Boom, boom. They got all the stems. They sent it to the, my, my man's Eddie, right? And he loaded all the stems up inside of Mixcraft, and he got busy, right? That song is all over the radio. It's everywhere. On the internet, TikTok, whatever. It's everywhere. You heard the song before. If you didn't, I don't know where you've been, but that song is pretty popular, right? The Moonwalking in Calabasas. That song was mixed in Mixcraft. What more do you need to know, bro? The song was mixed in Mixcraft, bro. What? Look, we sat down with Eddie to discuss his career mixing and music production techniques and what he loves most about Mixcraft. Tell us about yourself. What do you like to do outside of music? He said he liked to go shopping, sightseeing. It gives me peace of mind outside of mixing music all day, which can be a bit draining sometimes. I agree, bro. Like I told y'all before, y'all might be listening, y'all might not be. But I don't like mixing and mastering for people, bro. Like, man, it be so draining. And a lot of times when you, if you working with people who don't really know what they want, or they know what they want, but they don't know how to tell you what they want. Oh, man. It, it makes me so, so tired, bro. I be so tired. Because I just got to sit there and try to understand. And it's so tiring. But anyways, that's not why we're here. How long have you been making music and producing? I've been mixing since 2009, but professionally since 2016. Done work with Epic Records and Republic Records. So he's probably a go-to engine like engineer for epic records and republic this is someone that they go to often hence he recorded he did arguments and moonwalking in calabasas for ddg which means you know he's he's consistent he, this is someone that they rely on and they count on and he used mixcraft mixcraft all right he used Mix crap. It's not what you got. It's how you use it, bro. I'm be trying to tell y'all this. Nobody want to listen to me. Y'all listen to me one day, though. All right. What has changed between when you started and now? A lot. My ears are more trained now to hear frequencies that 
I once never heard before years ago. I used to mix everything digitally, but now my approach is hybrid, mixing from my Neve 5060 console along with outboard compressors and EQs. I like to work smarter, not harder. Took me a while to learn this. One of the biggest things that changed and my mixing technique would be less is more. The less processing I use, the better the mix usually turns out in my opinion. Booyah! Now look, not only is he, this article bigging up Mixcraft, but you also getting some sauce in there. You see that less is more. The less processing I use, the better the mix usually turns out in my opinion. Now you might look at my vocal chain and you be like, it's so simple though. Less is more. Stop overdoing it. That's why it's not sounding good. You're doing too much. You're doing too much, man. And what he say? He say, right, where, where is that? Um, I used to mix everything digitally, but now my approach is more hybrid. Y'all know this. I'm, I'm a hybrid. I'm not as advanced yet. You feel me? I'm going to buy some more stuff, but my mic preamp. Compressor, de-esser, enhancer, uh, you know, that's hardware. It's hardware. It's, it's the, the gap between digital, you know what I mean? Like, I don't mix everything digitally. I can't say that because I use a mic preamp. And what you will understand, if you get a mic preamp and some other, you know, hardware, it's going to make your recording process way easier is gonna make mixing and mastering easier all right but let's go if you could go back in time to start your career what advice would you give yourself no relationships until i'm finished researching and perfecting my sound seriously though i would have told myself to use my ears and not my eyes when mixing listening to my old mixes i could tell i boosted more than i should in certain frequencies also to take advice and make it your own what I mean by that is listen to the professionals, take their advice, and also blend that in with your own techniques. I would have would have saved me a lot of time. Right? Boom. This is what I tell y'all. Yes, listen to what I say, uh, take from it, but you also got to understand what works for me is not gonna always going to work for you. So you understand what you're trying to receive from me, right? You come to the video for a specific reason. You like, okay, he's gonna show me how to do this. You come for that, you understand that one part that you need, and I might talk about something else that you don't really need. You like, I'm good on that. And you gotta understand how to take what you need and apply it where you need it to be applied, all right? That's important, you feel me? But like I said, this is a guy who uses Mixcraft. He just like me and you. He used Mixcraft, you know what I mean? Look at that. You see that plaque? That's for arguments. I don't know if he got one for moonwalking yet, but you see it. You see it. All right. How does it feel to have a Billboard Top 100 hit and two gold records? Probably the most surreal feeling an engineer can have. The fact that I mix records from my home studio. He mixed in his home studio. Where am I at right now? <laughs> I'm in the crib. You feel me? It can be done. It can be done. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Everybody always making excuses. I need this big old, I need a big old studio. I need this. I need that. I need that. No, you need to get started and stop making excuses, man. We don't make no excuses. You hear me? Stop making excuses, bro. You're going to be way more successful once you stop making excuses. I stopped making excuses two years ago when I had 100 subscribers. And now look at me. Now look at me. You feel me? I ain't got 100,000 yet, but I ain't got 100 no more, do I? Nope. You feel me? Nope. But yeah, all right. The fact that I mix my records from my home studio for all artists around the world and chart the billboards is still insane to me. I have no team other than my mastering engineer, Juan. It was one song that hit the charts, Moonwalking in Calabasas by DG Fusion Blueface. I thank God. Boom. So he really just do the mixing. As you can see, he sent it to his homie, Juan, to do the mastering. You feel me? But he get busy with the mixes. You feel me? He get busy with the mixes. When did you start using Mixcraft? What are your favorite features? He started using it in 2009. 2009. Mm. Now nah, I wasn't on it yet. I wasn't on it yet. I'm too young. I was too young. 2009? I was like 12. I wasn't on it yet. I started using it probably like three years after that, when I was like 15. 
But yeah, in 2009, can't remember, but I believe it was third or fourth version of Mixcraft. Had to be. Because when I started using it, when I was like 15, I was on the sixth version. So he definitely was on third or fourth. <clears throat> version of Mixcraft. I love the fact that it's so easy to use. It's almost like getting a piece of gear for the first time. No having to think. You just plug it in, move knobs, and it just works. That's how Mixcraft is to me. I have many favorite features among them. I love the compressor drive feature, a part of each channel. Amazing idea. I recently started using this and it's very effective. I don't want to mix any records without without it on. It adds so it adds some punch and aggressiveness that I like. The tone of the drive is lovely and the compressor grabs the vocals and it keeps them in place. Great tool. Lastly, the fact you guys Integrated Melodon into the program is super important. It saves me a lot of time. Boom! I always tell y'all, Melodon is amazing. Melodon is amazing, bro. And he said the compressor drive feature. We'll touch on that later, you know what I mean? I don't know if y'all know what he's talking about with the compressor drive feature. But I'll probably just touch on that in another video because... Yeah, this video already getting long, but y'all already know about Melodyne because we talked about that. All right, uh, arguments like much of like much of your other work sounds incredible. Share one tip with our readers to producing such a superb song in Mixcraft. Use parallel compression. You'll thank not only me but a lot of experienced pros who will tell you the same thing. Music production in a post-COVID world is evolving. You have been ahead. Of the curve with regard to online collaboration how did you hook up with ddg what was the recording process like to be honest i've made more connections during this pandemic than ever before i've been working with ddg since 2017 reached out to him via email he followed me on twitter i mixed a song for him he asked for my number the rest was history nowadays he records at his studio and sends me the consolidated files to mix like i said ddg goes record and then he sends the stems to him. I I didn't even have to read this. I already told y'all what, what's going on. Because that's just how it works, bro. That's just how it works. You know what I mean? Also, he is working on building his home studio now. So we can collaborate like we used to. Where he records and sends the tracks to me himself. So do you get what I told y'all all of this. You know what I mean? Because I rock with DDG. Me and DDG the same age. And uh, I just respect what he's done you feel me and like he started youtube when i when i should have started youtube and i didn't and just looking at him when i see ddg i realize where i messed up at you feel me but there's no regrets everything happens for a reason i'm doing youtube now you feel me so it is what it is but i respect ddg so like i said i've been new all of this you feel me i knew about the home studio all that boom boom uh, the product, the production on your tracks is super clean. I mean, super clear and clean, especially the vocals. What is your secret to get that pro sound? Thank you. I can rec recommend to all up and coming and even pro engineers artists a plugin that's a game changer called Fresh Air by Slate. I also mix using analog processors featuring Neve, SSL, and 1176 compressor. See, he has a lot of analog. Um, equipment but fresh air by slate never heard of that but we might be buying that <laughs> i'm gonna check that out hey look you just got some sauce i never heard of that we're gonna check that out as a mixcraft user in a largely pro tools world of professional recording studios we appreciate your long time loyalty what do you like most about mixcraft that separates it from the other major dolls it's just extremely easy to use the interface isn't cluttered which is a big pet peeve of mine easy to adjust or move vocals instrumentals easily with or without grid mode i get mixes done extremely fast in mixcraft and usually have same day turnarounds i would love to talk with the developers about things that could be added to mixcraft 10 and i said the same thing i'm not as big as my man eddie but i feel like i can add to what we got going on in the mixcraft community and we can make it better you feel me we can make it even better we could be better than pro tools we already we 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 about there you know we ain't got as many you know hype beasts 
surrounding Mixcraft, but we Mixcraft popping, man. Stop playing. Stop playing. What do you think makes the difference between an artist and an engineer? Crazy enough, I've asked this question to some artists I work with, and I think that artists just want a great sounding mix. And when I say that, that doesn't mean you have to add outrageous amount of effects depending on the song. Do you see what I'm saying? I be telling y'all all the same things, but maybe y'all will understand and appreciate it coming from somebody else. You ain't got to overdo it, man. There's a beauty in simplicity. I be trying to tell people this, but nobody want to listen to me. So we're going to get it from somebody else. You heard it here first, man. Doesn't mean you have to add an outrageous amount of effects depending on the song. Some songs you do got to add some sauce with the effects to make it sound good. But that's not always the case, all right? A majority just want a simple but quality record. Engineers want the best sound possible. We hear certain frequencies that the artists might not hear and they think sounds good as is, but us engineers have a more trained ear. Don't get me wrong, there are some artists that are very involved and have ears just like engineers. In retrospect, the more trained ear separates an engineer from an artist in my opinion. And that's exactly what it is. Like you can send me a mix, as soon as I hit play, I know what's wrong. Why? Just because I've been doing it for so long and my ears just hear different things. This still happens with my homies. You feel me? They come over here and, you know, I be mixing and I just be listening. I'll be like, nah, that's off, man. I got I to gotta fix that right there. And they, they be like, yo, it sound good. Like, You know what I mean? Or they send me, they mixes and they like, yo, what you think? And I'm like, you should do this, tweak this, tweak. Because I just, my ears just been trained, bro. I could just hear like. Ah, uh, that's a little, it's a little off. I could do that a little better, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, we're almost done with this. Um, what artists are you listening to these days? I listen a lot, I listen to a lot of pop and Latin records. They are always sonically pleasing to hear. Listening to these records gives me a better idea on how I should approach my techniques. What's next for you? Can't really pinpoint what's next, but I know it's in a great direction. Where can people find your music, connect with you? Thank you so much. I will have a 2021 mix sample list uploaded soon enough. Just building a more professional catalog with some of my greatest sounding mixes. His Instagram, at Lil Ed Music. Twitter, the real Lil Ed. All right? Boom. But like I said, he used Mixcraft. He getting saucy in Mixcraft. Stop making excuses and get to work. I don't even want to say no more. He done said everything that I usually say or everything that I would say. So we done here. We're going to keep growing. We're going to keep growing strong. Y'all know what's going on. It's your boy King Buzz. And I'm out of here. Yeah.